What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a dress. Now, first off, we're going to start off drawing a prom dress. And then we're going to work our way up to a dress with actually sleeves on it. And one that's going to be a little bit shorter. So this will kind of be more of a skirt than a dress. But we're going to draw this later on in the video. This one is a little bit more complicated, so we're not going to draw this one. But these two are just going to be the easier ones to draw than the one in the middle. So with that being said... Let's get to it. So what you guys see here is a fashion figure made specifically for this video and it's available on my Patreon if you wanna go get yourself a copy. But with that being said, let's get to actually drawing it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with the breasts here. We're gonna work from top to bottom. So up here where the breasts are, we're gonna make, uh, I don't know necessarily what it's called, but I guess they're called the cups where the dress is. So we're just gonna make like two curves like right up here like right in the midpoint between the neck and the breasts and then once we pass the breast we're gonna go underneath the armpit and we're gonna keep making that straight line uh, although we can make a curve like this that's what I actually used to do but I don't do it anymore because it's supposed to be just like this but you can do it like this you, you can do a curve but you don't necessarily have to because there is a backing to the dress. So I'm just going to make a slight one, actually. Okay. And then right here where the midpoint of the torso is, kind of where the torso kind of almost tapers, like right where it comes inward. Like right around here. Like where it stops from going inward. We're going to make a line there that's the midpoint of the torso and that's where the dress is gonna start so let's erase these arrows so after that we're gonna draw sort of a semicircle shape imagine if a sphere was kind of cut in half but also distorted so most of the legs will be covered but still enough so we can see the shoes so that's what most of the dress is gonna be and that's gonna kind of draw the viewers eye towards the actual character in a dress, you know? So we're gonna draw a shape just like this. But I kinda I kinda just mentioned it, but um here's a here's a visual. Just like this. And then we're gonna make a line just right right to at this point, like right here. So we're gonna still see the shoes. So we're not going to go too far down, although we can, but for this tutorial, we're not going to. And then they got too many lines here. So that's pretty much the dress right there. Those are the basic guidelines. So this top part that we drew earlier, we can leave it just like this because we don't have to do much to it. Unless you want to add uh, details if you want. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to time lapse the coloring process of the dress. And then also add some details to this bottom part of the dress. And any other details that I want to add. But most of that is already done up here. But um, we're going to add details to the dress. And also I can give you some tips about how to draw some of the wrinkles in the dress. Which some people kind of struggle with. But yeah. it's it's not This video isn't necessarily about drawing wrinkles exactly. But I figured I'd share some of the tips about drawing dresses in case uh, if I make a if I make a future video about drawing wrinkles, I may forget to mention it. But this is what I'm gonna do here. Since this bottom part of the dress is gonna be covered with kind of like a whole bunch of streaks, we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way back to the top because when you look at it, this shape kind of tapers and also curves back to where we started up here. So we're gonna kind of work the opposite way back up when we're drawing the wrinkles for the dress and also following that same shape. So imagine if this shape was kind of squish like this. That's how the wrinkle, that's how I usually draw the wrinkles in the dress. So we're gonna do something just like this. And then right here at the top, this is actually called a tension spot. That's where all kind of the, that's where kind of all the tightness is going to, if that makes sense. So there's going to be a whole lot of wrinkles up here. So I'm just going to draw 
uh, big lines and little lines here and there. Okay. And now back at the bottom of the dress, we're gonna add uh, like little bumps at the bottom just to show that there are, there are individual wrinkles. So like there's a bump here and a bump there, and then there's one big one in the middle. So now that the entire dress is drawn, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's all inked and colored. I also wanted to mention if you're drawing a dress with markers, it's best to go stroke by stroke so you can get those actual lines in there. And by doing so, you're kind of exemplifying that there are streaks in this bottom of the dress. So even though this bottom part of the dress is mostly streaks, I also did streaks when I'm trying to shade. As you can see here, I used a brush marker for doing the shades and I tried to keep the streaks as clean as possible and, and same with the highlights. So yeah, that's how you draw a prom dress. So let me switch to the other template so we can get started on the other dress. So like I mentioned in the beginning, the dress that we're gonna draw now doesn't go straight down to the feet like the one we just drew. It's actually gonna stop right above the knee. So it's gonna be sort of a, kind of like a ballerina dress, but not exactly. I think it's called a tutu, but we're not gonna draw a tutu, but it's just gonna be somewhat at this height. And, and this time, this one's actually gonna have sleeves, unlike the other one. And the sleeves I'm gonna draw for uh, this dress has a specific name, and I'll get to that when I get there. But for now, we're gonna start to draw the collar. It's just gonna make a U shape for the collar. Like right above the neck. Let's try to even it out. There we go. And then the cop and then the sleeves that I'm gonna draw now are called puff sleeves, which means um, they're gonna be circle shapes with some elastic on the on the arms here. And then right here where this elastic is, it's actually a tension spot. That's where kind of tightness is, if, if that's a word, tightness. So I'm just gonna add some wrinkles here. Let's try to make them a little bit bigger. But yeah, they're called puff sleeves because you know how a puffer fish kind of puffs up. So that's what it kind of uh, looks like. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget that elastic and then the wrinkles coming off of it. And then like the other dress, it kind of stops at the midpoint of the torso, which is kind of where that where they come inward. And then the point where they stop, which is gonna be like right over here. It's kind of like an hourglass where it comes in. That's where the midpoint of this torso will be. So it's gonna be right here. And then that's where the dress is going to stop. So this is the part where it could be elastic, but it's not exactly elastic. But even if it isn't, we're still going to add some tension spots like right around this area, like we did with the other dress. So we're going to start to draw sort of a, sort of a cone shape. You know, one of those like uh, actual cones, if you're on, um, you know how when you're uh, training for sports and they have sort of those little, like little cones with like a big circle in it. It's something we're gonna draw a shape just like that. But again, they're gonna. But again, the, but again, the dress is gonna stop like right above the knee. So it's gonna have an above knee height. And then right up here where we started at, we're gonna draw sort of like a ribbon. And then a bow, kind of like on the side. Like on the picture I showed you at the beginning. So we're gonna make it just like that. 
I'm gonna add a bow here. And then like little strands of ribbon hanging off of it. And then, sorry if this is hard to see, but it's a ribbon right there hanging off of that uh, little ribbon right there. And then comes the fun part. So right here where the dress stops at, um, we made this shape just like this, but instead we're gonna make that sort of shape, but it's also gonna come outward. And I'll explain in a second. So I'm gonna draw an arrow and it's gonna come sorta of in the opposite direction. It's gonna kinda like curve up just like that. So that's the, di that's the direction we're gonna make this dress in. But we're not going to make it too much curved upward. We're not going to exemplify that too much. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And it's kind of already drawn. And I'm going to curve back down. And then we're actually going to follow this line here. Making up and down curves. Sort of like a wavelength. Just like this. And then it's trying to match that other side. You don't necessarily have to, but you can match both sides. And then this straight line that we drew earlier, that was actually a guideline. So we can erase that now that we don't need it. And then the rest of the legs here, that's actually, I'm just gonna leave that white as if they were like either thigh highs or white leggings or whatever they are, they're just gonna stay white. And then we're still gonna color the shoes here. So let me grab my pen and start inking. So that's how you draw dresses. If you like my video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I